So it's time to make the first cuts with this machine. But in order to do that, I need to configure one last thing, and that's the speed of the stepper motors. Up until this point, I've kept the motors uh, really slow at about 120 inches per minute. These are NEMA 34s, and so they're actually capable of moving pretty quickly without losing steps. So that's where we're going to configure today. We're going to move each axis forward, stop it, and then bring it back. And then we're going to slowly ramp up the speed until we finally lose steps. And then we're going to use that number and back off, so let's say 25%, to come at the final uh, speed. I suspect each of the axes, axes is going to be slightly different number, just based on the mass. And so the, the y-axis is this, you know, has two motors and uh, it has a lot of mass. It has the mass of the beam, all of the mass of the X carriage and the Z-axis and the spindle. And then the X-axis is a little lighter and the Z-axis is the lightest because it just lifts the motor. So I'm suspecting each one of these will be a slightly different number, but either way, that's what we're gonna do. So let's get started. Here we are in Mach 4. This is the G-code we're going to run. So we're going to essentially move the x-axis 15 inches to the right. We're going to stop and wait two seconds, and then we're going to move back. And the whole point of this is to actually see the x-axis uh, accelerate, hold some speed, and then decelerate. So we could theoretically lose uh, steps in any one of those phases of motion, and so we just want to see those. So that's what we're going to do. And if we come to configure control and go to the motors tab, um, my x-axis motor is motor zero. So let's go to motor zero. And here uh, we'll see is 119. And so my machine set, the units are set to inches. So this is 119 inches per minute at about five inches per second squared. So essentially it's pretty slow. Um, and so we're going to slowly ramp those up, probably about 100 inches per minute each time. And then we're going to go until we fail. And we're going to hear it lose steps, basically. And then we'll know where to back off from. So in the interest of brevity, I think I'll skip all the steps in between and just show you the last two. So the last successful one was 1,500 inch per minute, and then the one that failed was 1,600. So pretty fast. Take a look. So yeah, there we have, we finally got our uh, max there. Woo. All right, so here's uh, what we backed it off to. I actually decided to back it off all the way to a thousand inch per minute um, and 50 inches per second squared. And so here's what that looks like. So here we are with the y-axis, pretty much the same thing, 120 inch per minute. <sighs> Somebody wake me up when we get there. So here on the y-axis I'll show you the last two runs. I managed to get it up to 1200 inches per minute and then at 1300 we lost some steps. So let's take a look at that. So as expected, the y-axis didn't make it as far as the x-axis did, since it has more mass. It only made it up to 1200 inch per minute, while the x could make it all the way to 15 without losing steps. 
But either way, I'm going to roll the y-axis back to the same value as the x. So essentially it's going to be a thousand inch per minute, 50 inches per second squared. And this is what that looks like. So the results on the z-axis are kind of interesting. I was only able to go to 400 inch per minute. Uh, when I went to 500, I lost some steps, as you can see here. So the z-axis is losing steps a lot sooner than either the x or the y-axis. And I think it's because the z motor is directly driving the worm screw. In both the X and the Y axis use that CNC router parts motor mount, which uses that belt driven gear reduction. So I think the torque requirements on the Z axis are actually greater than either the X or the Y, even though it's moving the, the probably the smallest amount of weight of all three of them. So I decided to roll back the inch per minute on the Z axis to 300 inch per minute, and we'll take a look at that. So, I think that's it for this video. I'm pretty happy with those speeds. It was, uh, it's always a little bit nebulous to me how manufacturers came up with the, you know, the maximum speeds for their, for their particular machine, but I think that's pretty much it. I guess it goes as fast as the motors and the, the drive systems will allow. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's a little disconcerting to be honest. Those those rapids are pretty fast. It's like I definitely don't want to be standing around this machine when when that thing's going at it. So uh, either way, uh, happy CNC and thanks for watching.